I, I think I'm all for it, all the restrictions. I'm all for it. Uh, I, I think the salons, the stores, the restaurants, the bars, we have got to close everything up to get, to get going. We really do. I'm 100% for it. I think it is, it is a very good decision because, I mean, uh, you never know what is going to happen during the, the, second, uh, the second wave. You know, the first wave was like a kind of surprise. A lot of people died and many people lost their jobs. So if we really want to, I mean, to, to contain the virus, the government really need to take very good, very drastic measures early on before, before winter. I think that for the moment it's okay because uh, I think we are all stressed that it's going to become the same thing as uh, it was in March. So for now, with the temperature outside, um, I think it's nice that we could uh, we can go to like um, stores and uh, do a, a little bit of uh, something during the weekends. But uh, for now, th I think it's okay. Yeah. I think it's justified because uh, phase two is apparently is coming back, and we see what's going on in the state. The timing comes just when we find out that Trump uh, got hit with the coronavirus. Um, how it affected my life is that I have to work from home now, which is okay. At first I was not too happy about it, but now I got used to it, so it's going to be hard to go back to work on a regular basis. And uh, today what I see here, a big difference from last week. A week ago there were a bunch of people here dancing, no protection, nothing, nothing going on. Today is very quiet, so it's more reassuring. It's a good idea that they gave a timeline of 28 days, so at least we know how long is going to last, and we just have to make a, um, an effort to make it true. And hopefully we're going to have a Christmas. That, that's how I see it. Personally, I feel like this is going to cause more health problems than COVID itself. And I'm just very grateful that, uh, because I do dance and yoga, and I'm just very grateful that my studios are still open. But obviously everybody's scared, you know, I've got certain classes where you actually have to wear a mask whilst you actually do a class and people at the end are just like hyperventilating and we should look at other countries like Sweden and Bulgaria, how they've dealt with it, because if this virus is gonna stay for good, we cannot hide from a virus. So, I mean, that's my opinion. And I just hope that people look after each other. You know, I hope I, I was going to see my mom uh, this month for Thanksgiving. I was supposed to spend Halloween with my nephews and now I can't do it, so.